I'm SirTapTap, and the January update is starting to roll out. As always, it's slow rollout. Um, it, it'll probably take three to five days for everybody to actually get it. Um, do not uninstall your game or do anything ridiculous. You'll get, just leave on auto updates and you'll get it when you get it. Anyway, there are two aspects to this update. Let's start with the most exciting one. There's a mini event for New Year's. There's these four fish, or actually two fish, and two expand decorations you can get. Um, you can only get one of each, so that's a little unfortunate. They, they're really nice um, fish, too. But you can get a lucky frogfish. You just have to tap the screen 200 times. That one's pretty free. Um, you can get also this New Year lantern jellyfish, which looks awesome, and I really want to have a tank full of these, but we only get one. That's so... Ugh. But yeah, for that one, you have to complete the daily mission completely five times. Um, even though it says tasks, what it means is you have to complete all five tasks, um, get your pearls, and that counts for one day. So you have to do all of your daily things five times. Um, we don't know when this thing ends, but probably end of January, I'm assuming. Um, and there's also these two expand decorations you get, this Maniki Dumbo Coral. You need to check in three days, and the first day that you get the update does not seem to count for that. That or the clock hasn't started yet because it's only in, in beta-ish rollout. Uh, I don't I don't know, but yeah, it hasn't rolled. We haven't managed to get that number to tick up yet. Um, you can also get the New Year's Lion Dog sculpture. You know, the majestic lion dog uh, for checking in ten days. So those will show up in the expand menu. Speaking of the expand menu, there is new stuff in here. That's right, Parker, new stuff. And um, there's it costs uh, seaweed and fusion materials instead of pearls, which is a big relief because I always really like this cosmetic stuff. But since you have to pay for it with pearls, there's like you only get 50 a day, and that's with a fair amount of effort. Um, I never really bought too many, but now that they cost. Um, just fusion materials that is very nice so there's a large gazebo rock which is 80 Barker don't sniff the mic please go over here thank you um, that's 80 seaweed small gazebo rock 40 seaweed large ladder rock 80 seaweed and my personal favorite the Samuel ladder rock purchase decorative Samuel ladder rock I love how they managed to misspell it twice that's how you know chef's kiss by the way, I'm told that the descriptions are wrong in Korean originally. So you can't say that they just deserve a pass because language barrier. Because the original text is apparently also wrong. I mean, maybe not in a specific case, but there are fish with incorrect descriptions in the original language. Amazing. Anyway, shell decoration, 30 shells, unsurprisingly. And um, sea urchins for 30 sea urchins. I think that's really cool because... Parker, would you please calm down? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the sea urchins, well, I guess, what, what is this, like, menu? I, I would have figured they bit it in the coral tab. I mean, they're not coral, but they're animals, so, yeah. Uh, there's also elkhorn corals for, uh, those all cost of varying amounts of seashells, or clams, whatever they are. So those are nice. And, um, there's no new, there's nothing new in the castle tab. So once you unlock the New Year's things, the New Year whatever majiggers, I assume they'll show up in here. And um, the Christmas event is on only for 15 hours as of me recording this, as you can tell on the top there. So buy your duplicates if you want extras. Um, I tend to go for five of everything. And no, you can't get more Corgi Santa Claus. Um, it's kind of too late anyway, but um, it just says max at the bottom here. Some people ask if you get more than one. I always figured you know, it was such a difficult to get reward that you'd only get one. But yeah, that's confirmed now. Um, now, on to the fusion fish aspect. There is, of course, a new farm in here in the little farm tab. Um, there's crabs, which is like we already knew it was going to be crabs. But you get ten every three hours, which is why I don't currently have any crabs. Because they take a long time to happen. Um... But yeah, the crab farm costs 300 sea urchins, just like the other farms cost 300 of the other materials. And they're little, they're animated. You can see them in the background. It's, it's really cute. 
so krill are coming next probably in a, in a few months at, at the rate they've been going i would say two months at the least this is probably going to be a february event um so on to the shiny new fusion fish the first one and most important one is time limited unfortunately but a freaking saltwater crocodile um, this is, I had seen an image of this a long time ago and people didn't believe me, but they shared it on Facebook for I don't know why. Um, but yeah, there's saltwater crocodiles. They cost, I think, 110, I can't, this, this resolution is great. I use an emulator on my thing and it, it does not like small fonts. Um, but yeah, I think it's like 110 clams, 60, maybe 120, uh, 60 sea urchins and 30 crabs, which is why I don't have any. That'll take a while. That's ten. That's nine hours minimum of crocodiles or of crabs. Um, where, where's the crab? The crocodile farm. I want to make some fusion fish out of crocodiles. But yeah, that's uh, that's probably around for a month. It just says it's limited. We don't know how long it'll be there, but I assume it'll be a month. Like that was how long the sea otter lasted. So there's six fusion fish total. They did an interesting thing with this. They went and added back um, a goby, a green, crum there's a yellow line goby, green crummy, masked angelfish, and the new fit ones are a flatback turtle, or the new species, or new genuses, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're the turtle and the dolphin. So there's a common dolphin for two bottlenose dolphins. Um, and this one you unlock by having three um, what's their butts. The... You need 30 fusion fish to unlock the common dolphin, 20 fusion fish to unlock the flatback turtle. You need three French angels to get the masked angelfish. You need three blue green or black and gold damselfish for the green crummy, and you need three yellow watchman gobies for the yellow yellow line goby. Now you only need to use up one to fuse it, but you need three for them to unlock for whatever reason. That's a little weird. Uh, additionally, in this update. They added the percentages for the big shell. You click this little tiny question mark that's very hard to tap, and um, it'll show you the percentages. These percentages were changed, by the way. Um, somebody did over 100 spins of the thing, and they kept their findings. Um, it used to be over 50% vitality, so they improved those odds to make it look more presentable, which I guess is part of the reason to want people to list the odds, because then if the odds are just too bad, they'll be like, oh crap, we need to change these so they look better. But yeah, as you can see, the odds are very, very bad. Um, even if you spend real money, you never get more than a, you never get even a 3% chance to get any specific fish. That's the thing with Gotcha. Somebody said, and I, I feel f so bad for them, somebody said they spent over 100 bucks on the thing, and they got just garbage. And I mean, it's, it's what you gotta expect. Like, even when you get the big luck shell, there's just such a large pool of stuff you can get. Like, if you want a bone turtle, 2% chance, big luck shell. How many pearls is it? So, it's 200 when it's not on sale. They're half off right now. So, 200 pearls. How many, let's see how many dollars that is. It's five bucks. Okay. So, you have a 2% chance every five bucks to get a bone turtle. Let's say that's, and that's one of the more common ones. So, if you want that bone turtle, that's about 50 spins on average you can expect to get one bone turtle that's awful that is genuinely terrible please don't waste your money on this just I, I implore you waste your money elsewhere waste your money on my patron you know feed Parker a bone I mean he's a cat so probably not a bone but well cats do eat bones we used to feed uh, chicken bones to my my parents' cats—they would, they would just crunch right down on the bone. And now all of the vegetarians have left the video. <laughs> it's what cats do. Oh yeah, the one thousand-year-old blue whale. Like people, are like, oh, you can get the whale. It's like, well, there's your percentage of the whale. Less than one percent, even when you pay five dollars. So what is that? Like, you'd have to go. Like, almost like five hundred spins, on average, to get a whale. Five dollars each time. Do not waste your money. The, the the reason gambling works is that people just it's not your fault. People are bad at statistics. When one person wins a lottery, everyone's like, "Hey, Jim Bob just won the lottery, and he's a freaking idiot." I'm a smart guy, so I'm gonna definitely win the lottery. 
because you think you don't think in big numbers. You think, okay, I have three friends who play the lottery one one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna get one in three chance. It's, it's not how it works. This these unpleasant numbers here are how it works. And note that less than zero point point zero one percent chance for the one thousand year old blue whale. I, I'm surprised I can even get away with listing it with just like less than this. Like, no exact numbers given. Anyway. Th that was a lot of words to say, do not. Please don't spend money on digital gambling. Anyway. Other than the gambling thing, I like this update. I like the idea of these little mini events. I do not like that you can't get repeats. I think that needs to be fixed, because I like these. This is the first frogfish we get in the whole game, and you can only get one. And like I said, I really want a lot of these uh, New Year's Lantern jellyfish. Those are beautiful. And the jellyfish, they really look the best with a lot of them out there at once. At least like five. As you can see, I've got a lot of the snowflake ones. I just made sure to buy a bunch before the event ends. It would be really nice to be able to get a lot of those. So, I don't know. I, I hope they let us get more of them. But yeah, I, I checked in the, in the fish list. Uh, they're not in there. You can't get more. And they're not in the event tab either. This is just the Christmas stuff. So yeah, um, last chance, last call for the Christmas stuff. Six new fusion fish, two new event fish, and two new event um, expand thingies. And I like the idea of having expand items for the event. Decorate your thing. I really like, one of my favorite things in this is the, the fusion materials to buy these things. So you can be like, just, you know, make some of those things. Because I've been avoiding these because they're so expensive with the pearls. Uh, it, it's really cool to be able to do that with uh, fusion materials now because as you can see I've got a lot um, Anyway, that's pretty much it for new features um, Thank you. Thank you for your input So yeah, hopefully everybody can get those fish soon the the written guide is updated as well, of course um, You pretty much know everything that you need to know anyway, but the written guide is updated just in, in case you need to double check something um, I don't think the new fusion fish are really that efficient. Like, even this masked angel fish, like, it's just 30%. Um, I think the flatback turtle and common dolphin are a little higher. But there's so many of these things. So I think the most efficient fish before were, um, the butterfly fish. And I think that is still the case. I haven't run the numbers. But if you're purely going for vitality percentage, I would say focus on these ones that cost the five, um, the whatever, and they give you the the thirty five percent vitality. I think just the butterflies actually, and the porcupine puffer maybe. Yes, 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 yes. All right, that's the update, everybody. Oh wait, let me show you the crabs. Oh wait, oh I can show you the if he's here, the frogfish. The the problem with only getting one frogfish, it is a very small fish. There he is. It's a very small fish, and you only get one, and it's just very hard to notice. Like, the prized walking fish and the 1,000-year-old blue whale, they're at least fairly large, but this little guy is just, well, he's a little guy, so, yeah. But here's the, the crab farm. Oh, let me zoom. No, do you, did I not focus on the crab farm? I apparently cannot. But look how cute. No, no, go, focus. Focus on the thing. Okay. This is as close as I'm going to get. Okay, maybe it's not. It is, in fact, not. Okay, but look look at the crabs. They're cute. That was my only point. They're very cute. They just run around. Oh, yeah, and the, the, I'm pretty sure this thing will go away as soon as the Christmas update is over. So if you want to make any Christmas cards uh, over a week late, go, go ahead. Christmas to your heart's content, my friends. And I'll see you next update.